Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. I'm out here on National Turnpike, Weekend Burgers, and this is going to be the headquarters for the production of my top 10 burgers in Louisville today. So this will be the fourth time that I've been at Weekend Burgers and done a production, which I'll show you some clips of those. And also I'm going to be doing clips of other places that I've done in the past. Of course, I did a top five burger in Louisville video last year. And then I went to several more places after that and I found that it wasn't fair and that some of the places I went afterward were better or as good than some of the ones I put in the top five. So it was only fair to do a top 10 video review. Now, disclaimer, this is my subjective opinion, okay? Everybody's got their own favorites, their, their own choices, but this is my top 10 burgers in Louisville. All right. Before I get started, though, I got to do a couple shout outs. I got Tammy Rogers sent me two different $10 gifts this past week. Of course, Bill North, True Blue Bill, sent me another $25 and two bottles, the two large bottles of Grace. So there you go. And I hadn't even seen bottles that big. These are the big ones. Also, if you didn't see my vacation series last week, I went to Naples. And in the middle of the Naples trip, we took two nights. Went to Bimini, took the kids there where Melissa and I got engaged. So it was very nostalgic, very magical. And so if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you tune in for those. And while I was on my way to the airport, ran into a former Eastern high school student, Zach. He was one of my favorite students of all time. And on the way back, ran into quite a few people that follow the show in the airport. But one that came out and introduced himself was Joe Simonson. Good meeting you, Joe. Okay, let's get this show started. The first time I ever went to Weekend Burgers, it was during the height of the COVID shutdown, and Weekend Burger had a, a food truck set up further up National Turnpike, and that was the first time I met Mo and his son, and I hope you enjoy the little goofy antics in my little clip there. Back in the early days, I used to do little goofy stuff all the time, but I'm more serious now. And I guess you're wondering why I'm wearing this. And by the way, this isn't a short sleeve sports bra. This is actually a historic relic. This was my football jersey, fall of 1981. We're at Weekend Burger, which I've done research and I'm looking for old school burgers. I don't care if I got to go to all four corners of the state. Done the old school way, just plain dressed, cooked to perfection and made with love. Y'all been eating on your own. What do y'all think of your own burgers? It's the best burger ever. Yeah, really good. When I go to a place and see something fancy, I just want to drop kick somebody when I see something like, oh, I want the truffles and the, the mango jelly. But no, this is old school right here. I'm so fired up, I feel like doing a cross body block on somebody. I think I still got it. Sit. Hey. Everything was wonderful. I just wanted to talk to the owner, Mo, here for a second. This is his first day back opened up since the, the lockdown. He decided he wasn't gonna wait out to three months and he's back in action. You need to come out and show him your support. It's worth coming all the way from Middletown to National Turnpike. Trust me, take my word for it. Mo, you got anything you wanna add? We don't know nothing about Weekend Burger. Of course, the second time, I came to Weekend Burger was their grand opening of their first brick and mortar store, which is up here toward uh, Southside Drive on National Turnpike. Did a big production that time. And also came back when I did my top five burger video a year ago. I did it during Burger Week a year ago, and that's why I'm doing it during Burger Week now, a year later, back here again. I remember several months ago, I did a review of the Weekend Burger food truck. 
Since that time, uh, the owner, Mo, he has pulled together his resources, took a leap of faith, and he has decided to open his first brick and mortar restaurant. He did it the old school way, which is elbow grease, hard work, just like his burger, old school. That's what Mo's all about. Let's start digging in. Girls got their burgers. Everything comes in a bag. That's what I like. Everything's old school. Look at Mary, boy, she's loving it. Now look at this. Because this burger run you over like Earl Campbell on a fourth and one. So, here we go. Mo, you got any words you want to say? Well, you don't know nothing about the speaking burgers. <laughs> I tell you about weekend burgers burger week special we got going here they got the double cheeseburger double hamburger chipotle cheeseburger mushroom and swiss and barbecue burger seven dollars all those burgers you can add fries for two and you can even add a fried cheese cake for an extra three dollars and if you buy a fifty dollar gift card you get 15 percent off that whole order and the gift card, and the gift card. Next on my list is Cunningham's Creekside Inn down on Harrods Creek. Been in business since 1870. That was one of the funnest reviews I ever did because Mary pulled off a double snapping turtle move that was classic. Cutest thing I've ever seen Mary do in all these years I've been doing these videos. The sign behind me says since 1870. That's the longest running restaurant business of any restaurant in Louisville. And to put things in perspective, you gotta think that's five years after the Civil War ended. Ulysses S. Grant was president, and six years before Custer would have his last stand at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Before I get into the next segment, I also need to add that the other reason we came here for the old school Louisville Burger Tour is because this is my wife's favorite place to get a burger, the Cunningham Burger. Go ahead and start in here. Look at that. Double decker with all the trimmings, half pound burger, homemade onion rings with a special sauce. So let me try and unhinge my jaws to get my mouth around this. Mary, you want to buy this? Um, sure. There's less for all right, you look like that hillbilly in my logo on my channel. Also, I went back to Cunningham's when I did my Burger Week Top 5 Burgers review last year. And Mary came along with me for that one, too. We're at Cunningham's Creekside Inn down here on River Road. You might remember the Cunningham Burger video was uh, Mary showed us her technique on the uh, uh, double snapping turtle. Mary, you want to buy this? Sure. Uh, there's less than there. Go there. Huh? Wait, more. All right. Honey hamburger is a half pound. It's two quarter pound patties, double the cheese, and it comes with all the fixings. Wow, this is so thick. I'll have, to double, I'll have to unhinge my jaws just to get my mouth around it. It'd be hard to get a double snapping turtle bite. Mm. I'm not sure what it is, whether it's the meat they use, the griddle. It does have that crusty edge on it. See there how it's cooked? It's got like double the grill surface flavor on it. Well, Mary, pan down there, down the creek right here on Harrods Creek. Can't beat the atmosphere on a nice day. And as I said, the burger is absolute top notch. So I want everybody to refer back to those videos. I'm not actually going to go back to Cunningham's today. I'm going to do clips from each of the places that I went to back then and the ones I've been to since. So 
stay tuned. I got a lot of good burger places coming up. Welcome to Night Moves Karaoke, Louisville's finest in the entertainment industry. Not only can Night Moves serve your restaurant or bar, but will be a big hit at any type of social gathering. Owner Tim Sneed comes highly recommended and uses state-of-the-art equipment and a professional quality sound system. So let Night Moves send out the curtain call at your next big event. Just give Night Moves a call, let them do the rest. All right, third on my list is Kern's Corner at the intersection of Taylorsville Road, Bardstown Road. I went there once with Melissa, I guess it was about four or five years ago. Kern's Corner. Louisville icon for about 30 years. Not only is Kearns famous for their cheeseburgers, but also famous for their homemade soups. So let me try this out. Chicken noodle. It's really well known for their bean soup. Little setup here. Got a nice little grill. Got that cheeseburger now. And I can see that it's got the little crusty edges there where it's smashed on the grill, steam grill, just like I like it. I think it's so juicy. You're gonna definitely gonna need a lot of napkins. The juice just running down my arm here. Anyway, I went there the first time. It was great, but all I got was a single burger. But then I brought and introduced you all to the national treasure, Sam Stallings. He made me go back a second time, and sure enough, I got the double, and it was right after the top five burger week video came out, and I knew right then. When I had that double Kearns burger, I was going to have to do a top 10 video. We're here on Bardstown Road in the Highlands in the Daps Point neighborhood. We're at Kearns Corner. I've got a special VIP guest today, Sam Stallings, Louisville legend. I hear all these stories. This is the best cheeseburger in this community. What their signature soup was, and he said chili. See, I got all the fixings. I got the spaghetti in it, old school. Burgers on there. I'm sure they grilled the bun, too. Y'all grill your bun? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Mark of a professional. Oh, yeah. This must be the liar's corner down here. The best. Let's see what he's got in him here. Yep, he did a double snapping turtle. And of course, you know what's coming. Here we go. You get the double on there, that's a game changer. Mm. I'll say it's better. <laughs> Remember, He's a Johnny come lately. I've been eating these two burgers since the 50s. Kearns is better. We've had a great time today. I hope y'all enjoyed the stories. Clay Schulhafer is the fifth owner of Kearns' Corner. We've had quite a bit of old Louisville history today. Good, bad, and ugly. But you know, it's not how you start the race, folks. It's how you finish. And y'all don't know nothing about this Kern's Corner. And by the way, the order in which I am talking about each place is not like their first, second, third, fourth. That's just the luck, luck of the draw. But here is my Dark Horse Top 10 Burger Place in Louisville, which I wouldn't have thought it, but it's Shenanigans Irish Pub. They've got what's called the Davenport named for in honor of Coach Davenport that coaches basketball at Bellarmine. And everything else they have there is good too. Their fish, everything. So that's why I went there was to get the fish right before St. Patty's Day and ended up getting that burger too. And it was fantastic. It's 21 days until St. Patty's Day. And what better could you do to start than being at an Irish pub and one that has a lot of Highland significance 
We're here at Shenanigans Pub today. Typical Irish bar. Got the original uh, old woodwork. I'd say this bar looks like it's at least 75 years old. Allen Burger. I took the garden off. I don't like the garden. But it's big, juicy, and delicious. Really is. I want to end it on a high note. Everything's been a high note. But you see those onion rings, batter dipped. I can tell they're homemade. I got the Davenport Burger which is supposed to come with grilled onion, but I went ahead and did it Barry's way when it comes to burger. I got the old school lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. We're not in Nulu. We eat our burgers old school style. Here, take those. Get that onion ring off here. We're going strictly blue collar. That's white American, by the way. You know I got to do that ketchup dip. Looks like I'm going to have to pull a Burmese python. <laughs> you see that? If that isn't a thing of beauty, it's just oh like falling Lord. in love again for the first time. Takes me back memory lane. All right, here we go. I'm even going to do a little dip. Mm. It's got that perfect flat top grill char taste, double patty. Do you know how much this weighs, how much your patties are? These patties are a half a pound each? One pound burger. <laughs> Batter dipped onion rings. <laughs> I want you to hear this. <laughs> Filthy animal. <laughs> These onion rings are incredible. Ladies, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you like to witness the carnage. Well, I looked over and these beautiful ladies over here we're like, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. They're like, oh, no, we love it. We love it. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't ruin y'all's lunch. Y'all don't know nothing about this shenanigans. Peace. All right. Next on the list is the Frickle Pickle Express food truck, which is derived from the old Jenny's Diner down on Frankfurt Avenue. I was out doing my Thunder Over Louisville video this uh, past April and saw the Frickle Pickle truck there and remembered that, I guess it was the Jenny Burger. It was so big, it was like this big around. But anyway, the one that I ate there at the food truck is a pound and a quarter, which you'll see in this clip. So when I leave here, the old Jenny's Diner that closed down 20 years ago, the owner of that has a food truck and they still have the Sweet Daddy Burger and the Frickle Pickles that he's set up on May 4th and Main, Monday through Friday. And I will be going down there to do a review and get the Sweet Daddy Burger. Y'all don't know nothing about that. So as I said in the previous clip, Jenny's Diner's got a food truck out here. See Frickle Pickle? I don't know, for some of y'all youngsters, y'all don't know nothing about it, but back about 20 years ago, before they shut down, it was a very popular place down off Frankfurt Avenue, the Sweet Daddy Burger. They was said that if you could eat the whole thing, it was free, because it was like this big around. And you might remember the commercials where it had like the little small person, midget, I don't know if that's polit politically correct now, but he would be wearing a diaper and he would sit there on the, on the commercial and say, and don't forget the Frickle Pickles. <laughs> Man, Frank Ferris, the owner, he's he's a Louisville legend. I asked him if he was, if he was gonna ever open up the diner again. And he said he's just sticking to the food truck. Lunchtime only. Well, here's the moment of truth. The Frickle Pickles. Got a nice light breading on it. Crispy. We actually brought it into the stadium, meandered all the way up the 
outside and they're still crispy and hot. There's the master at work right there. Look at that. Is that a full pound? That is a pound and a quarter. Pound and a quarter. Frank Ferris don't play. It would be a crime to not have Frickle Pickle Express in the top 10 in Louisville cheeseburger. You're about ready to witness a Burmese Python and double snap and turtle move all at the same time. I think. Man. Get it. Mm. I couldn't get the, the double M, but I got the Burmese in a single snap. Let me go for the double now. Mm. If there's a better burger in Louisville, I want you to send me a message, put it in the comment section. I ain't saying this is the best, but I don't know of any any better. And I'm trying to get together with Patrick Engel, the little guy that used to be in the commercials for Jenny's Diner, trying to work something out, do a collab with him, and do a full review at the Frickle Pickle Express. All right, next is Bun's Burger. I did a review back in, I think it was 2019 or 2020, when it was located at the intersection of Highland Avenue, Baxter Avenue, and Barstown Road. Melissa and I went there. That was in the early days of my channel. We're here at Bun's Burgers. I've been here before, so I already know it's legit, but I want to share it with you all today. And uh, also, a little history here. This intersection here where Highland meets Barstown Road is considered the Hate Ashbury District of Louisville. This is actually where the counterculture hippie movement started in Louisville. And the attitude and flair still continues today. I'm gonna start with what Melissa ordered here, which she got the uh, beer cheese burger. It's got homemade beer cheese, grilled onion, some kind of homemade pickles, and bun sauce. That I leave and bacon. Now I'm gonna try my burger called the Blue State. It's got blue cheese and the special house buns sauce with pickle and onion. Blue cheese definitely sets it off. And y'all don't know nothing about these buns burgers. But that's why I forgot about it. And then when they opened their new location down at Paris Town Hall, I went there again and did a full review and their burger is fantastic. Definite top 10. So I, another one of those burgers when I did, I knew I was going to have to expand it to a top 10 burger video because comes with a double patty. So it's at least a half pound, maybe it could be two thirds of a pound. Those might be a third of a pound. I'm going to taste a bite before I do anything else to it. Mmm. Mmm. See that yolk? Dripping out of there. Perfectly cooked egg. My compliments to the chef over there. They know how to make a runny over easy egg. See, their bacon doesn't come in prefab cooked. So this is their regular buns burger. You can get it dressed any way you want it. You see there? I got the old school working man lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, and double patty going in. Mm. It's already got the bun sauce on it, but you know me, can't get enough sauce on a burger. I'm gonna go ahead and do the ketchup dip, which y'all know that's a patented move when it comes to burgers. Be honest with you there's a lot of other places that deserve to be up there in the upper echelon they are upper echelon but you got to limit it at some point and louisville is definitely a burger town next on the list toasty's tavern 
Those coated fries are awesome. And you'll see in this clip, we had an absolute ball that day. We had one of my daughter's friends, Ava. We had a great time. All right, we're down here in the Shelby Park neighborhood. A uh, place that's come highly recommended to me, Toasty's Tavern. This is definitely a hipster joint. Ladies, y'all about ready to get some food? Yes. But it's like a torture chamber in here because I'm sitting here right across from where the hood vent is coming out, blowing out all that good griddle goodness right at me. here. All the food's here. And I wish you would look at the crusty edges on that burger there. I mean, that is total smash burger perfection. It's got grilled onion, lettuce, and the special sauce. Let me go ahead and get my mouth into it. I ordered the double. These are batter dipped fries. It looks like they got kosher salt in this uh, fry sauce. Very tangy. And we brought a guest with us today, Ava, good friends of Mary and McKenzie. Now I want them to go ahead and try their cheeseburgers and see what you all think. Go ahead, Ava. What do you think of that? I like it. And Mary, what do you like? What do you think of yours? It's good. As I said, I'm now putting that up there in my upper echelon. Those uh, weekend burgers, Bambi burger, and now toasties, all right there, up there on that upper level plane. So y'all don't know nothing about this Toasties Tavern. Okay, here's another one. Not many people know about it. It's only been open for maybe a year or two. It's at the location of the old Big Mama's way down Broadway. This was a very fun review, as you're going to see. Mary was with me. But the burger, their soul burger, it's unique. Don't get me wrong. It's not like, you know, one of those fancy burgers with the chutney and the orange jam. No, mac and cheese, a still working man, blue collar burger. But you're going to really like this clip. Burger Week video last week. I thought it was all burgered out after eating burgers for three straight days. But then I went in there and saw what they got called the Soul Burger. You can look at their, all, got all their sides there, the baked chicken. And now I'm about ready to go across the street over to the park. And we're gonna eat our food and then come back and talk to the ladies. Hey. <laughs> I haven't been over here to Shawnee Park since I was a kid. Mary just stepped in a ditch full of mud like quicksand, it sucked her shoe off. Just letting you know, it this food's been up for like 20, 25 minutes because I had to get Mary cleaned up, I had to take her and wash her feet off and shoes and everything else. So, is it still crispy? Yeah. Okay, can I just take one little bite here? <laughs> and by the way, that's called the Soul Fried Chicken Wings. And even sitting in that box, steaming for 20 minutes, it's still crunchy. And your chicken, you already tried? Yeah. What'd you think? I thought it was amazing. Okay. Nothing like some good catfish. And that breading looks good. Holds up real good. And mm. cheese, look at that. Just cheesy goodness. Get in there close, Mary. Look at this. Oh, yeah. So here we go. The Soul Burger comes with double patty, half pound burger, two slices of bacon, mac and cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. So you don't need cheese because it's already got the mac and cheese on it. I guess the mac and cheese qualifies it as the Soul Burger. So here we go. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. I can already tell you, if I'd had this last week, this would be in my top five top burgers in Louisville. Look at this. All right, Mary's going in. She wants some of it. She loves a good burger. She does the ketchup dip. That was a that was a daddy bite. It wasn't a snapping turtle bite, but it was a that was a single snapping turtle bite. 
I'm telling you. And and if if you're a real burger enthusiast, and you claim that you love the best burgers in Louisville, you're gonna have to get out of your comfort zones of Highlands, Frankfurt Avenue, New Lou, and come down here and try this burger because if you got one that's better than this, I want to hear about it. Wants one more bite. Oh, she ripped it out of my hand. Go on, do your thing. Oh, she's got to have the ketchup. And if you're if you're not into a sloppy burger, this thing is sloppy. And you know the old saying, the best is in the West. Well, All right, so now next, we have the Bambi Burger at the Bambi Bar. Right after COVID, my friend uh, Brett Ralph came there and did a collab review with me. He owns, he owns Surface Noise down at the corner of Payne and Baxter. Two things that the Bambi is known for one is the Bambi Walk, which is a rite of passage for uh, locals that turn 21 years old. The other thing that Bambi's known for is the Bambi Burger. And by the way, I was touching on, you know, the counterculture movement yesterday, the hippie thing that started up down in the, the Highland Avenue intersection of Bardstown Road and Baxter Avenue. Some of you old timers that hung out on Bardstown Road in the 80s, that were into punk rock and everything, you might remember this guy, Brett Ralph, lead singer of the band called Fade Now, formerly called Malignant Growth. <laughs> so, so we've got a celebrity with us today doing this guest star appearance. And but, my store, Surface ah, Noise, has to be ah, one of the hubs of the current counterculture here in the As of course you I hope realize, so anyway. I'm wearing the gear. We're gonna touch more on Surface Noise later. Let's go on in and get a burger. This is the Bambi. Uh, it's got American cheese loaded with all the fixings. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite here. Beer <laughs> battered onion rings, homemade. The homemade chili. Paul's chili, the owner. That chili's top notch. Yeah. Brett, what do you think of your burger? It's a really good burger. I like it a lot. I like the flavor. Then the girls got the little baby Bambies. <laughs> Check this out. They were also in my top five video last year. Right here on then. Bardstown Road at the Bambi Bar, and it's Burger Week, and it's a no-brainer. If you're going to do Burger Week, this definitely has to be one of your stops. You have to get the Bambi Burger. They have been known for several decades for the Bambi Burger. And it's a pub style burger. As you see, look at the juice just flowing off of that burger. I'm gonna just love biting into this. And it's so thick, I'm gonna have to un unhinge my jaws like a boa constrictor just to get my mouth around it. Mmm. Oh my. <laughs> Folks, I just can't say enough about the taste of this burger. It's probably the juiciest burger you'll ever have. And look, it's cooked just a little over medium. All right, next stop, third in Kentucky, Louis Williams. You already know where it is and what it is. That's right, Ollie's Trolley. All right, we're here at third in Kentucky. This is the rite of passage. If you're a Louis Villian, it actually derived from the old Lums restaurant back in the 60s and early 70s. This is the last of the Ollie's Trolley locations still left in Louisville. I can imitate any burger in town, but I cannot imitate this one because of the special sauce and special spice. But look at that Ollie burger. It's all that seasoning in there and sauce. Let me take this bite. See that special sauce there? That's the whole secret right there. Kenzie? That's good. Last one left in Louisville. And you'll see the reason why it sets apart from everybody else in the video clip. I talk more about that. I don't like any of the uh, gourmet type stuff with the orange chutney and the brie cheese on the burger. Uh, I refer to those as yuppie burgers. That's not my style. So if you're wanting something like that, you're probably not gonna be interested in this video. It's gonna be here at 3rd in Kentucky at Ollie's Trolley. 
This is a place that cannot be duplicated. When people leave Louisville, move to other places across the country, when they come back to Louisville, they always make a stop at Ollie's Trolley. So another thing, look here, these fries, I got extra spice on them. That's half the reason I come here is for the fries. This is one of the things that's unduplicated. They have the spice that they have a patent on that John Y. Brown passed down to a lady that worked for him and she has the sole rights patent on that spice. So that's why this can't be duplicated. The spice goes in the sauce and of course the spice goes on the fries too. All right. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So that's the top 10. But I wanted to go ahead and throw in an honorable mention. I'm over here in J-Town, Galen Drive at Little Angels Burgers and Wings. It's highly rated. Google has a perfect 5.0. Specialized in burgers, wings. Got the Texas burger, which don't be fooled. You see that bacon there? That's turkey bacon. This is true to the halal certifications. It's got barbecue sauce. It's got jalapeno cheese, jalapenos, but it's on a brioche bun, fancy. All right, man, this is this is messy. He asked me if I wanted some gloves. I said, well, heck no, I wasn't raised right. I ain't using no gloves. Sloppier the better. Man, this is a good uh, feel. Oh, toasted bun. You know we ain't got no rookies back there. All right, here we go. This is juicy and delicious. As I said, the beef is never frozen. Here's another one. If I hadn't already done my top five burger video, I can just tell you from that first bite, I'm going to have to do a top ten burger video next year because this one would definitely be on it. So they definitely deserve an honorable mention. This is actually the fifth time that I've done videos out here at Weekend Burger. There was one I forgot, it was the One Chip Challenge Heat Burger. You know, that was pointless because you know there's nothing too hot for me. So that, sh that wasn't even a challenge. But anyway, I hope everybody has enjoyed going through the memories and the different burger joints. Some of the clips go back. The girls were real young back in 2019, got those little voices. Anyway, Louisville has no shortage of great burger places. You know, one of these days I might have to do a top 100 video of burgers in Louisville. But anyway, get out here to Weekend Burgers. Mo, the owner, he's a great guy, and his food speaks for itself. And with that, y'all don't know nothing about this Louisville's top 10 burgers. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.